Is it fair for a CEO to earn billions while ordinary workers earn just a fraction of that? An intriguing question that exposes the stark disparity in compensation between corporate leaders and their employees. This imbalance often stirs up controversy and recently, it has put none other than Elon Musk, the charismatic CEO of Tesla, under the spotlight. The issue at hand? A staggering $55.8 billion pay package that a Delaware judge has decided to strike down. Musk's absurd 2018 pay package eviscerated the previous CEO compensation record by orders of magnitude at a time when CEO compensation already insulted any sense of what a senior manager is truly worth. Bart Naylor, financial policy advocate for Public Citizens said in a statement. So, what's the story behind this decision? Let's dive into this fascinating case and uncover why a judge decided to strike down Musk's $55.8 billion pay package. In 2018, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, secured an unprecedented $55.8 billion pay package. It was a deal that made headlines, not just for its sheer size, but also for the process through which it was approved. The board members at Tesla who were responsible for approving this package were not just colleagues of Musk, but also close personal acquaintances. One board member, Antonio Gracias, had a particularly close relationship with Musk, sharing frequent personal interactions, vacations, and even family events. It was this tight-knit circle that approved Musk's colossal pay package. Case Western Reserve University law professor Anat Alan Beck said Musk only has himself to blame for ignoring the fundamentals of the fairness doctrine and failing to show that the pay package was inherently fair to shareholders. These are basic principles he could have and should have been coached on Delaware corporate law, Alan Beck said. Musk just didn't follow the corporate rules and procedures, if he did, he would have avoided this mess. However, this was done without adequate disclosure to the shareholders. They were kept in the dark about the process and the close personal relationships between Musk and the board. This lack of transparency would later come under scrutiny, as the approval process was challenged in court and deemed deeply flawed. A shareholder, unhappy with Musk's enormous compensation, decided to take the matter to court. The lawsuit was no ordinary one. It aimed to challenge the fairness of a compensation plan, amounting to a whopping $55.8 billion. The shareholder argued that Musk wielded excessive influence over the board of directors during the pay negotiation process, thus compromising its impartiality. Furthermore, it was alleged that the board failed to disclose crucial details to Tesla's shareholders, leading to a skewed approval process. The lawsuit didn't just question the size of Musk's pay package, but also the integrity of the process that led to its approval. This was a battle not just over figures but over principles, transparency, and corporate governance. In addition to his 21.9% equity stake, Musk was the paradigmatic superstar CEO, who held some of the most influential corporate positions CEO, chair, and founder, enjoyed thick ties with the directors tasked with negotiating on behalf of Tesla and dominated the process that led to board approval of his compensation plan, the judge said. At least as to this transaction, Musk controlled Tesla. The case would eventually make its way to the Delaware Court of Chancery, resulting in a groundbreaking decision. On January 30, 2024, Chancellor Kathleen McCormick of the Delaware Court of Chancery issued a decision that would send ripples through the corporate world. In an unprecedented move, the judge voided Elon Musk's staggering $55.8 billion pay package from Tesla. The reason? The approval process was deemed deeply flawed and unfair to shareholders. The judge's decision hinged on a critical point. Musk's close ties with the board members, particularly Antonio Gracias, were highlighted. Their frequent personal interactions, shared vacations and family events raised eyebrows. This intimate relationship caused a conflict of interest, compromising the independence of the board. But the real kicker was the lack of disclosure to shareholders. The court found that shareholders were kept in the dark about the process, making the approval misleading. This lack of transparency was a key factor in the ruling. The decision didn't just focus on the astronomical size of the package, it dug deeper, questioning the integrity of compensation procedures and Musk's influential role in shaping these. This case was about more than just money. It was about fairness, transparency, and respect for the legal framework that governs corporate behavior. The decision marked the first time the Delaware Court of Chancery had ruled against a CEO pay package, setting a precedent for future cases. 
It served as a reminder that even the most influential figures like Musk are not above the law. And it underscored the importance of a fair, transparent process in determining executive compensation. The implications of the judge's decision are far-reaching, impacting not just Musk and Tesla, but the corporate world at large. This verdict sets a precedent, putting the spotlight on executive compensation procedures and raising questions about the influence wielded by CEOs in determining their own pay. Tesla now faces a trilemma. Negotiate a new pay package for Musk that aligns with shareholder interests, appeal the judge's decision, or contemplate a change in the company's incorporation location. Whichever path they choose, it's clear that the board's actions will be under intense scrutiny going forward. As for Musk, the decision could potentially cause a drop in his standing among the world's richest individuals. But let's not forget, despite the voided compensation, Musk still owns about 411 million Tesla shares, worth approximately $78 billion. In this corporate game of chess, every move counts. As we await Tesla's next move, one thing is clear, even the most influential figures are subject to the principles of fairness and transparency within the legal framework. Thanks for watching. If you like it, comment and hit the like and share buttons. Subscribe for future videos.